parents, it's Mrs. Black here. Just wanted to take a couple of minutes to welcome everyone back to this upcoming school year. And more importantly, talk about the Penfield Project and what that's going to look like here at Beecher Elementary School the first couple of days. I know Dr. Gayham has already sent a message out, but I also wanted to just talk a little bit more about the specifics and what that will look like. So all the changes that will be happening will be happening just for the first three days of school, hopefully, um, from August 16th through August 18th. On the 21st, our arrival and dismissal should look like it has all the other years. I wanted to clarify and emphasize a couple of points that Dr. Graham mentioned. First of all, there will be no parking in the community center parking lot. I know that many parents park back there, walk up to school, drop off your students or pick them up. Uh, this is not an option for those first three days of school. The parking lot will be used for the buses. If you would like to walk your child up to the front door those first few days of school, you will need to park either in the village or the bowling alley parking lot. There will be police officers to help cross everyone safely. No adults will be able to get out of their cars in the car rider line at morning drop off at Hodges and Catalpa. Students will be exiting their cars quickly and moving to the sidewalk or the parking lot immediately upon exiting their car. Uh, dismissal will be a little bit more tricky as all students are dismissed at the same time. First, I know that no one wants to wait in a long line, but the area we have for parents to wait before students are dismissed is smaller than it usually is. If too many parents arrive early, traffic will be backed up onto Route 1 for a significant amount of time, making uh, problems and causing some traffic issues. Most importantly, please make sure your child knows how he or she is going to be getting home on those first few days of school. If you show up in the car rider line and your child was put on the bus, we will not be able to get them off the bus and walk them to the car rider line. It's just simply too far away. When you are in your car waiting, please do not get out and try to wave your child over to where you are. We will only be allowing students to get in vehicles between Catalpa and the high school drive. If you are any further back in the line, your child will get in the car when you have moved up and you are in between those two areas. Please do not park on the side streets and attempt to walk up to the line to pick up your child. It's going to cause more of a backup as the students are trying to force or students are forced to cross in front of other cars, even if you're with them. It's just not safe for people to be walking through where the cars are moving. Any student who is a walker will be waiting for their parent by the flagpole um, right next to the baseball field if they need you, if they're a younger student and they're waiting for you to walk home. At Meet the Teacher Night, um, which is tomorrow, August 15th, your child's teacher will ask you to add your child's name to a list, letting us know how they will be going home on those first three days. Any changes that need to be made must be made through the office, either by a phone call, a note, or an email. Please do not try to contact teachers during the day if you need to change uh, pickup procedures. There's no guarantee that they're going to have time in the day to read that email. Most of all, please have patience. Our biggest concern is that your child gets home safely, not necessarily quickly. Thank you everyone for listening and we're gonna have a great year this year. Bye.